How's it guys? We are here at Clan CC Ching Sam for the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors Week Zero matchup versus Vanderbilt. If you guys have not seen my videos yet, now let me introduce myself. My name is Joey Control Appraiser, powered by EXP Realty. I'm a licensed agent out here on Oahu. I'll be glad to help you in your buying or selling process. I'll help you move out to Hawaii. Let's check out what this game has in store for us today. All right, guys, we out here at the UH Manoa campus almost. So if you're worried about parking, it's the same concept. So on the weekends, you can park right across down the street for free on the weekends. Why pay 15 or 25 bucks? We just park here, walk over to the Sand Sheriff or the stadium. It's the same concept as the volleyball games. Almost forgot, we can't drink outside stuff. So gotta get my water in. So we're making almost the mile walk from the UH lab over to Stan Sheriff. If you paid 15 or 25 bucks for parking, it's two o'clock. You could have used that for food. I saw get a nice open view of the stadium. If you don't get tickets, just watch them from the parking lot like that. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> We're on our way to Les More Comics to check out the kids inflatable. In the back of me, we got the softball stadium, Women's College World Series back in 2010. That's what's up. In the back side over here, the beach volleyball court. That is set to be gone next season when they extend it to 17,000. Get one last good look at those volleyball courts over here. That side, we got Cook Field. We have the practice soccer. I mentioned to the side of the baseball, we got the bullpens and the batting cages. Little something for the kids. We got some inflatables going on to keep your kid hungry and busy. Oh, let's go onto the baseball field. Woo! Quite empty today. This is host 4,312 fans out here. Baseball season starting in February. Imagine yourself out here playing some baseball. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! Let's go! It's a hot day today, sweating. But we rallying out here, let's get it. We reach onto the other side, we're right by the water polo stadium on the back side. So, I'm gonna make another long walk to the arena. I set it up. There we go. Let's go. While we wait, we hydrate. Great memories were made in those studios. All right, let's get on to the concert. Let's go. Oh, we got in. There's no one really checking the bangs. So that's a good thing. Let's go and check out the back.
A variety of from Heineken down to the beef sticks, Uncle Bill's Kaka Grill desserts. We got the H zone in the front and the Ever Ed zone. We got the video screen in the front over here. We got the fat line over the ASB port over here, but it's not worth the five minutes because you might just win a fan. Outside, you're paying eight to nine dollars minimum for a beer. It ain't worth it. How close we are! A few meters away from the sidelines, out here. It's gonna be full of the student section and the bands, so that will be closed off for all the games. Now we got all around, lots of options, but today is gonna be sold out. Still options for the Western Kentucky game. Now the good part of going around this stadium, you can walk all the way from the bleachers up there and then back onto the grass, onto the track. And as a bonus, you get right onto the track, close to the action over here, right intimately. You can't get an intimate atmosphere like this next to the sidelines. Let's rock it. Now you're gonna reach all the way to the top next to the news booth over here. This is your CBS Sports Network view over here. More seats right next to me and one of the most comfortable. Get the seat backs over here. Yes, sir. Now we got the big time section 105, big time seats, $90 out here if you're lucky. A little cushion check on this thing for these $90 seats. I give this one an eight out of 10 for comfortability. Quick little bathroom check. I give this one a nine out of 10 for cleanliness. If you put in a little more scent, like Bucky's, you can do that. I'm inside of the complex. There's a snack bar going in, into this little hallway down. You got some comfortable restrooms down the road. It feels like less Murakami out here. I mean, I'm not too mad about it. the view that you get in front of the goalposts that all say good hands. Or if you don't have tickets, you can just sit there in the parking lot and watch the game. The bad news is you don't have any views of the scoreboard. It's my seats right over here, section 122, row 7, seat 5. There's no bad seats out here with 9300.
before kickoff. This game is completely sold out, 9,300 strong, or that's the case. So we got the track side coming around. We got over 20 food booths and drinks around. Next year, we were expecting an expansion at the corners up to 17,000 to get up to D1 regulations. that high school intimate feeling where you can see players right in front of you, you can say hi, what's up, and all that kind of stuff. You get all that intensity in front of you. Now the good thing, with the shade in the back, right next to the baseball stadium, let's go check out our seats. And now, to, we're out here on the tunnel, and it takes a little while to figure out your seats here on the end zone side. They say it's probably like 85 out here, it feels like 95. Although the intimacy of the crowd feels like an all high school game, it's probably one of the best atmospheres that you're probably gonna get, no matter what side you're gonna have. There's no bad seats. scoreboard on the entire scene on that small one so it is a huge downside although they're gonna bring out the old scoreboard from Aloha Stadium next year when they expand to 17,000 they actually have a clock on the diamond hand side so that's something but for the downs I don't know about that depending whether your offense or defense in a two-minute rush it's gonna affect your time ability to find out how much time is left now, despite being a sold-out crowd, I mean, we got a few empty seats coming around here. I don't know why, but I can just put my jacket and my feet on the stool over here. So, it's a finest atmosphere we get. I'm at over here. You got Hawaii fans on one side, and you get the Bandy fans on the other side. Meanwhile, I'm going to hybrid with both the Hattie Bees. Chicken and after all, got the Hawaii hat over
right now it's 42 to 10 Vanderbilt and right now they're showing that even though they're the bottom feeders they are the SEC and things are gonna happen <laughs> honestly if this keeps up none of us are getting two tacos tonight <laughs> another touchdown oh, it's 49 to 10 I'm surprised a lot of the crowd still here and it's gonna be a long night driving back home. Not for me, I really don't care. <laughs> now the rain started to come down a little bit. So another major downside, when it rains, time to resort under the bleachers or back to the arena. On the bright side, we got Point Mochi at the UH game, so that's a great thing to look forward to. 56 to 10, we're switching over to the $135 seats on the Makai sideline here on the five yard line. 135. It's 56 to 10 for Vandy right now. You check this out. Here's a pro tip. Buy a $30 ticket on the Diamond Head side end zone. Wait for the crowd to clear up and then move over to the Makai or Malka sideline. And you save 100 bucks right there. Nice, easy looking view. With the clock on the right side. Nice view, you got the scoreboard on the left. Nice, comfortable, clean. Half the crowd is gone, so it makes my life a whole lot easier. Makes my $30 worth even more. Let's rock. Score 56 to 10, so on the four down, that's an indication that it's time to head out. But let's go check out some other sections. Well, here's the tunnel to get the heck out of here. Right under the Makai sideline. Most of the student section is gone. We're moving over to the Ever End Zone. Out here is the student section. Most of the crowd gone already. Here's the view that you get over here. We will get the band inside the back. Bit of a tough night, Hawaii starting off on the wrong note, but it's still a long season. And for a game with no masks, no restrictions, none of that stuff, I mean, great turnout. But just like the baseball game last March, it's a blowout. But you no, know, things happen, life happens, there's nothing to complain about. There's another day to great living life. If you guys enjoyed my video and got some value out of it, you give me a huge favor and like and subscribe button down below and comment down your thoughts about the universe of Hawaii and anything about what kind of videos I should do later on in the future. If you guys are looking to move somewhere on Oahu, anything in particular, I am a licensed agent here on Oahu. I'll be glad to help you in your buying or selling process. My contact information down below. And also my social media platform so I can provide you the best value possible in this changing market. And that is it. My name is Joey Control Predator, powered by EHP Realty. I'll see you guys soon. That's right. Even more, you mean high? Just a bonus.